Wilson and we are going steampunk for today's card. Oh, so much fun. I'm going to show you how to do a really nice distressed background. It's so easy. Don't worry about it at all. I have so many people that say to me that they can't do this. I'm going to walk you through it and you'll be doing this before you know it. We'll also be using the industrial sheet corner, the mixed essentials for some of the little bits and bobs in there. And we're going to have a word coming from the inspirational word die set from our expressions range. Okay, so tell you where we're going to start. A piece of tan card. I'll give you a quick measurement. It is five and a half inches by seven and a third. And first thing you're going to want to do now, I know this is going to be hard for some of you to watch, but you're going to just crumple it up. Just crumple it. Just like that. Open it back up, bring in your walnut stain distress oxide. We're going to just take the, the pad to the paper and just sort of wipe it across to pick up some of those wrinkles. Okay, super easy. I'm going to distress it a little bit more and let it sort of um, bleed and loosen up the fibers by giving it a spritz of water. Just give it a second to kind of set into that and move around. Okay, spray it a little bit more. We're going to heat set it. Let me get some scissors to hold it. And that color will sort of fade as you do that too. So you can see we've already given it a really aged look to it. So now what we're going to do is take our scissors and we're going to go around the edge, do a bit of distressing, just by using one side of the scissor and just sort of rubbing it back and forth to loosen that grain up. And I'll just do the top side here so you can see it. And you can even put little tears in it if you like. You can curl the corners anything to give it that age sort of look. And then you may want to go back in and let me find there we go with your walnut stain and a smoothie and just go along the edge and just darken it ever so slightly once you've done that. Okay. So I'm going to bring in one I've already done so you can see it. The other thing is you're going to have it, um, it'll be obviously from being folded, it'll be a little bit rippled. If you just run it through your bossing machine with a tan mat, it'll smooth it right out. So you'll have something that will show all those little wrinkles, but it'll be virtually flat for you to use too. So I've gone around the edge, done all four sides of this, distressed it, have a really nice little background there. Okay, so let me just clean up a little bit and we'll move forward. So the next thing I've done is I've cut several of this industrial sheet corner. And it's quite a cool corner. And I've just layered them up so they're nice and thick. And on the top of it, I cut a, a corner in silver mirror card. Okay, so it will work really well with your alcohol inks. I'm going to be using caramel, espresso, and stream. Bring these in. And I've got a, a ranger tool here for alcohol inks. So I'm just going to pop a couple little dots of color on there of each of these. There we go. And we're going to just tap it on. And just sort of twist it, turn it, keep moving it around. I've got quite a bit of blue on this. So I'm going to darken it a bit by adding some more of the espresso. And really give this that sort of patinaed old look to it. Now, if you find you have too much color, what you can do is bring in some blending solution and add a couple drops. And that will lift some of that color and change it a little bit. And you get some really nice patterns that way too. I'm going to bring in a little bit more of the brown and just add a little bit more here. There we go. I've done one I've Got one I did earlier, so I can even tap a few more on there and kind of tone them out together. But you've got a really nice antiqued look. Let's pop these all to the side. There we go. And grab me a grind boss, and we'll do a little bit of tidying. 
go. Actually, I put some blending solution to remove that. There we go. I should take that off. Okay. So now I want to put those into place on the corners of my card. So I'm going to use some Cosmic Shimmer glue on these. Just get that started. Put it all the way around the edges here, down this side. And you do need to make sure that the background you're gluing them to is good and dry. So make sure it's been heat set and dried well before you try to glue to it. Give that one a second. And a bit of glue on this one. And I think I'll just hit them with a little bit of spray glue so I can get some of those spots I haven't gotten with the glue. So I'm going to glue one in the top corner, give that a second to set up, and the other one in the opposite corner, and that leaves us a nice little space in the middle. Okay, those should set nicely for us. So in the meantime, I'll go to my uh, sentiment here. I've cut three of the Create out of some chestnut card and I'm going to put that in the center but I want to use a little bit of Cosmic Lacquer on it. And I'm just going to pop some on my finger and just sort of go across the top of it to give it a nice shine. There we go. And like that. And that shouldn't take very long to dry. I think I can probably pop that on with some glue on the back here. There we go. That'll go right in the middle. And if you want, you can let that dry and add another layer if you want it to be even glossier. Give that a second. There we go. I've cut a few of the little um, screws, nuts, bolts, and whatnot from the essential set. I'm going to bring in some of our other distress inks. I have broken china and spice marmalade. And we're going to add just a little bit of color with those. Just right off the, oops. There we go. A little bit there and some on the orange part here just to give them kind of that rusty look to it. Put a little bit of glue on the back of that one. We're going to seat that right in the corner. And I'll do a few of these. And do that side and even a little bit of brown. Add that and some of the orange on here too. We'll put those right off the top corner. And maybe some blue there. A little bit of glue on that. That one like that. And one more up on the bottom. A little bit more orange on that. A little bit more blue. Little tiny bit of Cosmic Shimmer glue down here. We're just going to overlap that ever so slightly. There we go. And I think I'll put one more up here. Get some more of the blue and orange on that. It gives it a really nice old antique look. Like it's been laying around for quite a while. I'm just going to put that one right about like that. Give that a second. Tidy up, put our lids back on, and I think I'll add just a little bit more Cosmic Lacquer to the top of this so you can see the results. Yeah, just sort of tap it on with my finger. In fact, you can even put a little bit on these uh, extra little bits if you'd like to. Gives it a nice little distressed look. There we go. 
So that won't take very long to dry, but you can see how easy that is to create that distressed look. And I think that you would love to have this card and it is so easy to do. Just walked you through it and you can do it yourself.